Claims adjusters hire us to come out and look at RTUs on a specific building. We're evaluating whether or not the condenser fins on a specific unit require replacement of the condenser coil or if they can be repaired via combing of the condenser fins. Damage to the fins slightly decreases the performance of the unit uh, as you reach the certain thresholds. Uh, it takes 40% flattening of the fins before you see any significant decrease in the overall performance of the unit. Uh, the efficiency can in in decrease by as much as 25% once you start to see that amount of damage. Um, in, studies have shown that 100% fin flattening uh, can be effectively combed and restore the efficiency of the unit to within 1-5% to of the original efficiency. Uh, if a, if a condenser fin has been flattened significantly and not repaired immediately, it will start to induce stresses on other elements of the RTU, such as the compressor, and th that can lead to premature aging and failure of those components as well. It's very important to use a proper fin comb when combing the fins. If you end up using a, a metal comb to comb the fins, you have metal on metal, which can begin to rip the fins uh, and damage them beyond repair. Also, if you use a synthetic or plastic comb that's improperly sized in terms of the fins per inch, that can lead to certain fins being spread apart and other sets of fins being uh, grouped closer together. Uh, and over time, that can wear on the fins and lead to them not being as combable if there is future damage. It's very important to properly size the combs when combing these units. Hail to units is, hail in general is directional and Pi will generally evaluate each exposed face of condenser fins on a given unit. So on one face we might have 100% fin flattening which would be significant damage, but if there's four exposed faces and the remaining three faces have 0% fin flattening, that would be 25% effective flattening on that unit, uh, which would be combable and the, the performance affected on that unit would be negligible. Uh, there's many different types of guards. Uh, manufacturers make all different sorts. It depends on the model, the unit, the manufacturer. Um, frankly, I, I feel that the manufacturer doesn't always feel it's in their best interest to protect these units. They're always striving to replace the units in general. They don't, they don't like the concept of combing because it's not as cost effective for them. Uh, we'll see hail guards like the ones behind us where it's, it generally creates a hail shadow. It overhangs and protects the unit. Uh, there's other guards, kind of like the steel guard that you see behind us in addition to the shadow guard. And that creates uh, like a wire grid which protects the units from hail. Um, and then there's also a full-on enclosure hail guard which are the most effective in preventing hail. And that will be a, an entire encasing shroud that is slatted to allow air movement through it. In order to affect the efficiency of a unit, uh, fin, fin damage has to exceed 40% fin flattening. Essentially, any fin damage can be combed out. The only time a condenser coil would require replacement is if the copper tubing that houses the refrigerant inside the unit has ruptured. In that case, the condenser coil must be replaced. Um, any fin flattening is repairable by combing. In terms of whether we're going to recommend combing or replacement of the coil, it comes down to cost effectiveness. If something is 100% flattened, it'll take a contractor a lot more time to comb, and essentially it'll be a greater cost to the building owner than it would be to just replace the coil.